Finally, the new spawn has awoken. What a, a momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn, uh, hang on. Spawn number three, seven. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Another ironic one? Great. No, you may call yourself the Grim Reaper, as that is what you are. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <coughs> Clear? Most certainly. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total, even if the primary task is <laughs> executed correctly. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Yes, you were, literally. I will now show you your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper.
What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium! As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster! I, tis me, Terror of the Ways. I may have grown most humble with age. The tales of my thunderous exploits will live forever! Aye, ye are visiting me ultimate dream, the Emporium! Browse at your will. Welcome. How was your first day? Good, good. I understand it may take time to get acclimated. Everyone goes through that phase. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? Indeed, I am glad you are paying attention. In the future, I may require you to make more difficult choices. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, iron-clad law of cosmos. Question? Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines, and keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now.
Grim, how was the second day on the job? It gladdens me to hear that. So, did you follow the rules properly? Everything looks in order, as far as I can tell. And it is my job to tell these things. <laughs> Continue the good work, and do not let tough choices get you down. Uh, no. You are to mark the profiles as requested. We are not here to cause wanton mayhem. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. My latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Probably some of the psychic residue left over from the creation. Making a death is not simplistic alchemy. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right, everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow.
Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. Tis wondrous marvel. Once upon me and me crew sailed the southern seas and came across an accursed lighthouse. Plundered the lot of it, even the mirrors. Built the frame from beautiful driftwood washed ashore from the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covered it in all gold, too, coarse. I, a proper beauty. What ho! How can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? Ah, a spooky tale if there was one. 
stumbled upon a gothic-like castle during me travels once. Seemed like good loot at first, but nay, a monster hunted them corridors. Head large and round, eyes shining like two lamps aflame. Twas paralyzing. Never have I been so frightened of anything in me life. Turns out, it was the Baron who'd got the curse of the Ware Pumpkin. Only happens during full moons, though. And even then, only one month a year. So tis not much of a curse. Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. Imagine the possibilities. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim.
Have ye seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. Exactly the question, ain't it? We are the exalted Chimera, envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are angst ex nihilo. We are nothing, a despicable failure. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray. If only you learn to listen. We are deaf. How does it feel? Not a cloud in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? He's seeing you, Reaper. It's a grim world out there. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Ah, I told you one would get used to it. Uh, at least, I hope I told you corporate motivation, and all that. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Ah, the question is too difficult. After all, you have not even lived a week. You have not seen what the tradition has wrought. This control over all the lives unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you made? True enough. One must be in charge. The others are there to follow. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Countless, infinite, close enough. Anything else? Oh, <clears throat> not at all. Mm, I am, quite so. Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk, a result of their own deeds and decisions. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Anything else? Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. Do not ask about the plant department. Anything else? Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow.
Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark time. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? Exactly. You and I are on the same page. We all do what is necessary, even if it makes us suffer. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Correct. It hardly matters. It is just another day. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Need ye cures for ailments or a trigger to ward off a curse? Didn't know I still had this beaked eye sore. I was at a gathering of some immensely wealthy idiots, where I saw an absolute buffoon wear this as professional attire. Just look at it! A weird long curve of a nose, and those stupid goggles. Ridiculous! Had to have it. So we plundered the whole lot of them. <laughs> Lest these smelled nice, for they soiled their trousers from beer. Then the mask came in real hand. That wasn't so good, was it? It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. Crisp and clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Grand Hugo. Be seeing you.
it with yourself. Okay, technically, you are not alive anymore. But maladies are ravaging the populace. Microbial forces having their way. A complete failure of the human body? It's not that good. Not good at all. Why can't they just stop getting sick? Yeah, life's not fair, bonehead. You're probably powerless. Ain't anything you can do about it. Disease will spread until it engulfs all. Consider it a warning. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. Yes, what about today? Oh, absolutely. Things are already looking up. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. We are just getting started. Speaking of... The raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. What? I swear, there must have been something off in the Grim Brew. Nonetheless, as such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Heck, I haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. Yeah, there's plague everywhere. It makes sense to wear your dang mask. Besides, it looks hella dope. So, how are you liking existence thus far? Got to look on the brighter side of undeath, eh? I'm sure you never thought this was how you'll end up. Sometimes, these are the cards we are dealt. Okay, newbie, before we continue, I got this little, uh, game I play with every fresh-faced patron. It's real simple. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. <clears throat> Sourpuss. It'll reveal many secrets about you, I promise. Right, <clears throat> the gist. I'll describe some sort of an odd situation, and you answer how you react. I usually do four questions, and nothing else do it. 
Here we go. Prepare for question number one. You behold two doors. One plain and old, the other forged of gold. The old one seems to imply disgrace and shame. The golden door cries of nobility and grandeur. It's up to your brave soul to make the first choice. Which door will you enter? Time for question number two. You see a turtle laying on its back, belly, baking in the scorching sun. It beats its legs, trying to flip over, but it can't. Without your help, you are not helping. Why aren't you helping? Next up, question three. Almost there. The globe has been struck with what can only be described as a zombie apocalypse. You're stuck at home with little supplies and no weaponry to defend yourself with. What is your strategy? All right, final stretch. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs, right? You wake up after an accident that has left you in a coma for decades. Your body and mind are ravaged beyond repair. The doctors offer a solution. A cybernetic brain transplant with a personality of your choice. Which will you choose? We got it. Let me just calculate the results. What <laughs> to stability, prone to conformity. Mm-hmm, I've got the appropriate concoction in mind. Start off with a nice mixture of four centiliters of gin, one centiliter of elderflower liqueur, one centiliter of sugar syrup, two deciliters of club soda. Splash in some lime juice concentrate, add several slices of well-smashed cucumber and some fruit ice. <laughs> the quiz tells no lie. I think a suitable name would be Borehole. First one's on the house. An understatement of the century. Now, what else can I get you? Heck, were I able to count and name all the folks? Likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. You've got you Reapers and all the myriad departments, the Custodian Legion, the weariless data grinders of the Calculatorium, the abysmal archive with its archivists, Cadaver Resources. They're just getting odd, but someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Middle management, nobody knows what they actually do. Higher management, but they don't visit us, basically ever. Same with fate. Many of the regular workers come by the den, though, so keep your eyes and ears open. What else you got in mind? Au revoir, Lil Reaper. Sonny, we don't belong to nobody. Who told you about the plant department? Forget what you heard, Sonny. No such thing anywhere. Eh, ain't nothing to tell. Not gonna lose any sleep over that, Sonny. We deny everything. Stop bothering an old plant, why don't you? Can we? Can we really? And you never will. All right, we're just kidding. It's not really that big. Sunny, it's just a regular department. Not even that big. What do you think? It's a department for managing plant life. There are a lot of plants. A lot. We're real tired of folks asking about the plant. Is why we visit the den on Sundays. 
lowers the chance of bothersome busybodies with annoying questions. Who even gave you the idea the department is anything interesting? The boss? Sonny, we'd wager fate's just messing with you. Anything else, seeing as we're now deep in the soil of inquiry? Me? I'm Herbert. You know, sort of like a herb art. A herb? <laughs> Don't forget the green fella holding me up. That's my pal, Tim. Tim's a real hoot. Say hello, Tim. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Tim's my partner. All root, stem, and leaf. Sometimes they bloom and have the most delightful aroma. Then the bees from the bee department find us very attractive. Anything else? Of course, makes perfect sense, don't it? Uh, don't ask about the bee department. else? Not in this lifetime, Sonny. Really? That is what you're going for? As if I didn't have enough on my plate. Now I have to deal with a baby thing. Hey now, Gus. Play nice. Well, seems I'm stuck with you now. You want to ask questions or something? I'm the janitor. I clean up the damn mess you make. Liquor, spirits, booze, fire water, rock cut. You're daft or something. Ever looked in the mirror? Or thought about the clientele of this place? Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the rib cage, straight to the floor. Pretty gross, right? A gift to the world from all you pompous reapers. Or could be at least a little more considerate. Gee, uh, thanks. Eh, uh, something else you wanted? Sorry, they're hella cool. Thank you. You're nothing but a sweetheart, ain't you? Nah, shucks. You're the only one who truly treats Gus with respect. Simple. I float around and I possess stuff and make the stuff float into the trash bin. Like dust, for example. One dust particle at a time. Or the drinks. One droplet at a time. Maybe a bit tedious, yeah. As if the highest management ever gave any thought to us lowly drones. We're all nameless custodians and spawns to them, literally. Do you really? Or are you just another number in a long line of numbers, hmm? Eh, something else you wanted? What's that supposed to mean? Why does everyone think ghosts are dead humans? Of course not! No! Ghosts aren't mere residue, a relic of humans, animals, or whatever other entities. We're just ghosts. We're be- I am the ghost of a ghost. Yeah, pretty much. I figure you'd first have to be alive to count as immortal. It's a bit more complicated than that, but honestly, I ain't got the patience to teach you ghost history, so... Eh, something else you wanted? Yeah, yeah, I gotta get back to work anyway. Welcome back to the den. What can I get you? Oh, thanks. Mortimer found the original oinker on an excursion to the shrouded zones. It's a bit of a hassle though. It keeps multiplying all the time. So take your eye off for a second and bam, tiny piglets everywhere. Go on, take one. Just make sure you feed it with some coins once in a while. Au revoir, little reaper.
Shiver me timbers. Tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details. But since ye wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. <laughs> 